Hello everyone, I'm Kex here. I'm back with another video today. Uh, we obviously had the teaser. We we talked about this in today's video earlier when we were talking about Safgate, but uh, we have the legit, the new blessings. We have them all. It's a whole brand new divinity. We are going to be breaking it down in today's video. Here is the little blurb. Let's go through it and then let's look at each of the blessings and talk about whether they're going to be good, what champions might use them, etc. So, hi folks! Today we are excited to announce a highly anticipated new Blessings Divinity, Harmony, will be available in the game as of update 8.6. I actually don't know what update we're on right now. I'm guessing this is probably like next week or probably the next couple of weeks, right? With, with the next fusion, I guess? So I, I'm thinking it's coming soon. While creating the new divinity, our main goal was to expand the existing pool of blessings. That that would be what would happen if you add a new... <laughs> with more possibilities, enrich the gameplay and make it more versatile. That, that would be the goal. You will notice that Harmony offers brand new choices for the champion roles and gaming scenarios blessings simply haven't covered before. Like helping rare champions to be more useful in Cursed City, a type of content where they generally struggle before or empowering champions with continuous heal buffs to compete with regular healers. Our brand new epic blessings also bring more options to the table for both PvE and PvE content. Can your damage dealer, uh, your damage dealer can land debuffs, but you don't want to lose offensive stats in favor of accuracy? Check out the Nature's Wrath Blessing. You've had it with Poison Cloud and countless failed provokes. Neutralized Blessing comes to your rescue. And lastly, Harmony's legendary blessings were created with PvP content in mind, helping your damage dealing champions to tackle opponents under stone skin or stand your ground against fear debuffs. We hope you'll have a fear debuffs in PvP. We hope you'll have a lot of fun trying them out. Check out the infographic below for more details. All right, well, let's dive in again. I got a reminder, I actually did a mock up. And let me know. These are my. These are my. These are not their ones. We're gonna look at their ones now. These were my ones. Like the rare blessings, ignore resist or ignore accuracy. Epics. I said a chance to debuff enemies that attack you. Uh, a chance to heal allies whenever they take damage. My legendary ones were a chance to ally attack or just one that would improve the power of stat boosting buffs or decrease the power of stat decreasing debuffs. So these are mine, quite general. Let's take a look. So the first one up then is Nourish. This is the rare blessing of the Divinity of Harmony. Increases the value of the heal granted by continuous heal buffs placed by this champion. Each continuous heal buff placed by this champion restores a portion of the target's destroyed max HP. So at one star, 5% more healing. At three stars, 10% more healing from continuous heal. At five star, 15%. And at six star, 30%. So it's obviously, again, quite way. It's just the way they do it, unfortunately. It's very much weighted towards the six star. It becomes twice as powerful. It's pretty darn minor at the lower stages. But it, it might be a decent option compared to the other options. Because rare options kind of very limited. Restoring destroyed max HP. It's 5% at one star, 10% at three. It's actually directly equal, 15% at 5 and 30% at 6. This restoring destroyed max HP is often entirely useless because it has to be actual healing. So for instance, let's say in Hydra, if I have, so I'm, I'm running, never mind, I can't show you in game, we're running Doom Tower. But let's say in Hydra, your continuous heal heals you up. Well, the Head of Decay will actually destroy your health when Continuous Heal heals you. And yeah, then this will attempt to fix it, but it's still probably a net negative. Although it does, you know, it, it lessens it a little bit, but it's not great. But if you're at full health, the way that normal heals and miracle heal works, if you are at full HP and you heal somebody, it doesn't actually restore anything because you haven't actually healed. You have overhealed. You've done excess healing. And that doesn't work with miracle heal. I'm guessing it's probably going to be the same with Nourish. Now, I don't know for sure, but if this doesn't work on overhealing, that makes it much worse. And hopefully they would change both the coding on Miracle Heal and if needed on this as well, so that overhealing would still restore max HP. That would be much better to make it more effective. But, you know, with Miracle Heal, if you do overhealing, it will destroy your max HP, but you won't get anything restored. I'm worried it will be the same thing with Nourish. Nonetheless, I think this blessing is fine. It's okay. You know, we've got a good few champions that put out a lot of continuous heals. This will make them heal more. Seems decent. That's actually a pretty good one. Nature's Bounty up next. Uh, I mean, I, it could probably be a bit stronger, but it's fine in terms of design. 
It's a rare blessing. Whenever this champion applies a debuff, has a chance to place a greater version of the debuff. For example, a 50% decrease resistant buff instead of a 25% decrease. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. 15, 30, 45, and then 60%. I actually love this one. This is actually really creative design. That's cool. For rare champions, right? This is obviously pretty much only useful on rares and some epics. Um, but I think that's fine, right? For debuffing rares and epics that have small versions, it gives you a chance to place a greater one. Okay. I'm actually cool with that. I think it's very niche, but that's actually pretty nifty. And there's definitely some rare champions uh, that could that could use it a little bit. So that's kind of fun. It's not going to make a huge impact. I think, like they said in their blurb, uh, it would be, yeah, help rare champions be a bit more useful in Cursed City. So I'm actually okay with that one. Let's go to Epic next. Nature's Wrath. Increase the damage inflicted by this champion for every debuff they've successfully placed, except debuffs placed by gear sets. So 2% up to 6%, 2% up to 8%, 3% up to 15%, or 5% up to 30 so with this one, you can have three at one star, three debuffs. You can have four debuffs at three star. But I mean, like, let's say in Hydra, you do AOE decrease defense. Like that's four debuffs right there, right? I, I, how does, I'm not exactly sure how this works. Like if I place four debuffs, do I get like a permanent 8% damage boost? Or is it like, if I put out decreased defense on four enemies, is it, there are four debuffs that I have placed currently active and therefore I get the damage boost? Would it be like, I put out decreased defense on four enemies. Well, I have one debuff placed against each one, so I get a 2% damage bonus against each one. Yeah, I need to place like decreased defense and weaken. That would be two. How does it work? Very unclear. Very unclear. Anyway, look at five star, 3%. That's up to five. And then 5% up to 30. That's six debuffs. So, I mean, it would have to be AOE. Like there's almost no champions that do six debuffs. Right, that's like Riho Bone Spear be about it. It must, it must be AOE. Um, okay, that one's kind of interesting. Uh, so it's not particularly good in arena because it's so difficult to place debuffs. It could be very good in other sorts of content. That could actually be pretty strong. Like, okay, let me actually I, let's actually leave this run. <laughs> now, this was actually quite a long one. Oh well. Um that could be pretty interesting. Um, yeah, like who would do like Raga Ragash does debuff. So I have him with Heaven Cast at the moment. 1% more damage for each buff. With this instead, he'd be getting 2% more for each debuff. It's not, I mean, it's actually not that much better. But it is a bit more. If it works AoE, like he could put decreased defense on everyone and get 8% damage boost. That's kind of nice. And that's just a limited example. Um this seems okay. It doesn't seem exceptional, but it seems solid enough. I'm fine with this one. This could be decent. I get a bit of an issue is that obviously, you know, for PvE content, where you, which is the only place this works, right? You only really play debuffs in PvE, uh, which is like bosses and dungeons, etc. Crushing Rend is so much stronger. Like at six star, six star Crushing Rend is so much stronger than everything else that any damage focused blessing at six star is utterly irrelevant. Like 30% more damage, that's a lot more damage. Crushing Ren probably doubles your damage. It probably gives you 100% more. Um, so it's it's most likely strong and you don't need any debuffs. You just need to have the blessing. So that's a bit of a problem. Um, I don't know, this one seems cool though. It seems solid enough. Uh, I think Crushing Ren ruins the six star. Or that's a Crushing Ren problem. Um, it seems fine. Neutralize has a chance to place debuffs on weak hits when attacking enemies under when attacking enemies under poison cloud bruh what this is a joke right 10% 10% you have a 10% chance wow 20% chance 40% 60% this is you know what make this interesting oh i don't i don't have my brush here can we delete the under poison cloud thing? Like 20% chance to place debuffs on weak hits, full stop, is already kind of shit. <laughs> That's 60% chance to place debuffs on weak hits, full stop. This is way too specific. This is dreadful. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. I mean, like, 
I, you'd run it on some champions for sure. It's, I mean, it would see use, like slap this on an Ugo and Hydra. You normally would run Cruelty on her, which is somewhat useful, but you can have other champions. So like, you know, in Hydra right now, it is, I'd say, a bit of a design flaw that you just run every support in Cruelty just to stack it faster against decapitated heads. This gives you a, an alternative, which is useful. Um, be pretty good on burners, though some of the burners go through Poison Cloud anyway. Um, it's pretty underwhelming, though. Yeah, and like it's this is entirely specific to Hydra and entirely specific to Hydra going wrong. Like often with a good team, you don't get any poison cloud. It's very rare. This this is pretty yikes. This is okay. If you made this just chance to place debuffs and weak hits, the end. At least then it's it's useful for other bosses. It's useful everywhere. This is only useful against Hydra, which is is bad. Like. Is it having, is it just debuffs on weak hits, full stop? Does that make this broken? I don't think so. It just makes it better. So that's kind of shocking. Harmonic Impulse, the legendary, fills this champion's turn meter whenever they lose their turn because of fear or true fear. Also decrease the cooldown of the skills they attempt to use whenever their turn is lost due to a true fear. This, did they not, this feels like Hydra as well. Did they not, wait. Legendary blessings are created with PvP in mind. Help you stand your ground against fear. This, what? This seems like just counter head of torment. No? <laughs> well, okay. Decrease the cooldown of the skill this champion attempts to use by one turn. That's only against true fear. At least it does something at the lower levels. That's good. You know, I could easily have seen them in the past doing this, or even now. I could easily see them doing this full stop only at like six star. At least it does stuff on other levels. So if you lose your skill from True Fear, which is what happens with True Fear, you miss your turn. If it procs, I think it's a 50-50. But if it procs, you lose your turn um, and your skill goes on cooldown. This reduces the cooldown by one turn, at three star by one turn, at five star by two turns, and then at six star, it resets the skill. Okay. And then you get 10% turn meter fill at one star, 15% at three, 25 at five, and 50% at six. Again, it's really quite weighted towards the six star. Like, let's say at three star, if you miss a turn, it will reduce your cooldown by one turn from True Fear. It's okay, and you get 15% turn meter. That's kind of shitty. Who's running this in Arena? <laughs> like, you know, who's going to come in and be like, well, I could run six star Polymorph, or I could run six star Harmonic Impulse. Like, who's who even does fear and True Fear in Arena? Like, Taras does it with his passive. Which is a bad thing, because it just gets him polymorphed. Does anyone else do it? This is bizarre. This really seems like a help head of help you against head of torment. I mean, six star, it really does help you against head of torment. You get half your turn meter back and your skill isn't wasted. That's not bad against head of torment. It's actually really good. But do you want to to do it? Um you know, again, this is a maybe. You uh, you could actually see some people using this, but for high not for arena. I don't think anyone is going to use this for arena, genuinely. No one will use this in Arena. Nobody, I think. But I could see this being used again on a support champion in Hydra. Like, especially, let's say, a cleanser or something like that. You could have your cleanser with this. So they try to cleanse your team of the true fear. Ah, true fear procs. Okay, great. Well, reset the skill. Give them a 50% turn meter boost. Try again with no true fear this time. I could totally see that happening. Uh, but again, it's very weighted towards the high blessings. Like, it's okay. It'll help you a bit lower, but not massively. Not... And it's only le it's legendary specific as well. So good luck to your epic cleansers. Okay, last one. Cracking roots. Increase the damage inflicted by this champion to stone skin HP. Increase the damage by 20%, 40%, 60%, and 100%. Um th this seems again terrible, no? So this is super limited to arena, obviously. I do like that it's more general. Like right now, we do have incinerate. I think incinerate's actually quite fun to attempt to destroy stone skin because stone skin takes more damage from HP burns. So yeah, you can use incinerate. You can do a big chunk of extra damage, especially because you can place it AOE when champions take their turn. It can blow up and affect stone skin, and then the burn is still doing some damage after that. And at six star, it can decrease their turn meter. I think incinerate's kind of fun. Problem with Incinerate is there's relatively few viable burners for Arena. You're facing the problem of block debuffs. You're facing the problem, 
you can burn them when they have stone skin, but you're facing the problem of cleansers. Uh, you're facing also majorly the problem of polymorph, right? For example, Gizmo. Gizmo is actually really good with incinerate in arena, but because he puts out burns on everyone and then he can uh, activate them. So he can blow up your, um, he can blow up stone skin really easily, but he can just get polymorphed, which is a problem. But it's a fun little blessing. This one, you don't have the polymorph problem. It's just you do more damage to stone skin. Um, I think even 100% bonus damage, it's still pretty darn tough to break stone skin. Still pretty tough. And it's only good against stone skin. So like, at least incinerate. Incinerate is still useful. You know, you stripped off stone skin. Okay, well, listen, you're still doing double damage with your burns and you're still decreasing enemy turn meter. That's still useful. This blessing stops being useful entirely. That's very specific and kind of sucks, honestly. Um, who would you run this on? Like... You could run it on a Rotus, maybe. Again, against Ultimate Death Knight. Be like, okay, well, at least I can try Smash this. But again, the problem with Ultimate is you can just run Triple Reaction. So, yikes, that's a bit of a problem. I guess it makes Stone Skin 9 piece a bit more relevant. You can get the bigger shield, but what's even the point of the bigger shield? Like, you can just have your first turn of Stone Skin be basically indestructible at Reaction. I guess 9 piece Stone Skin makes your. Yeah, the nine piece would make your second turn stronger. I don't know. This, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know, guys. I prefer my ones. <laughs> my ones are much more general. These are some of them are very specific. Okay, so nourish, nourish is okay. It's probably just really weak, but it's conceptually okay. It's probably just underpowered. I'm, I'm guessing. I don't know. You'd have to run the maths, but it's probably it's probably a bit weak. Nature's Bounty. I actually think this one is cool. I like this one. This one's fine for a rare blessing. It's 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 very limited to, to rare champions in some epics, but it's okay. That's a fine one. That's a good one. Uh, Nature's Wrath. This one is decent as well. It's sort of a Heaven Cast-esque blessing. It's just sort of overshadowed by other blessings, but it's fine. Neutralize. This one is absolutely horrendous. This is so bad. This can be salvaged, but it's not good. Harmonic Impulse. This one is also... Being marketed incorrectly is an arena blessing when this is an anti-torment blessing. Um, I, again, I, I don't like this one. Honestly, I don't like this. Uh, you could have, this would be more interesting as like a gear set or something. And uh, Cracking Roots, again, this seems pretty underpowered. Seems too niche. I don't know. I don't necessarily object to really niche blessings. This one is way too niche. I think anti-stone skin. I mean, it's useless for every dungeon. It's literally arena only. I mean, there's a bunch of blessings that are like polymorph is arena only. It's not necessarily a problem. Um, it's probably good that there's more counters to stone skin. I don't know if this is the way to do it. Don't know. I don't know if this is the way to do it. I mean, the damage blessings in arena are fairly weak otherwise. But I mean, is this even worth running? You probably still you probably still can't break stone skin. And you, I don't know, right? You probably still can't break stone skin. Hmm. Don't know. Guys, what do we think about all this? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Again, first impressions are mixed for me. Pretty mixed. Um Yeah, it's sort of like the the blessings in general. I, I honestly I honestly feel like these blessings in general, it's part of why I did that previous video. A lot of these blessings could do with quite a few tweaks. Uh, I did a video with Saf actually where he went through them all. Like some of them are, are well designed, but they're underpowered. Like Miracle Heal. Miracle Heal is a fine, fine in terms of its design. It's just too weak in terms of its effect. Um, so you got blessings that are fine design-wise, but are a bit too weak. And then you've got some blessings which are bad design. Uh, they might be uh, polymorph is pretty bad design in, in terms it's way too powerful that definitely needs a lot of rebalance i don't know again you can check out that video if you want but yeah there you go new blessings let me know what you think i'm mixed very mixed feelings on it and i will see you all next time goodbye